Hello, welcome once again to Stuff of Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we are on our way someplace. We're supposed to go find Jim Boy Calloway. <clears throat> or no, we're supposed to find Slim somebody. What is it? I can't even remember now. Oh no, this has opened up. Another stranger thing. Duchesses and other animals. This is the one that we saw before. Da! But I was on my way over to here for Jim Boy Calloway. He wants me to go pick up somebody. Calloway has requested that you find Slim Grant and bring him to Brandywine Drop. Mm. But see, then we had an actual story mission with Sadie Adler here, and I was going to close out the Jim Boy Calloway stuff, but now that I'm right here, maybe we should do The Stranger. All right, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I guess it's right in here. A restaurant, eh? Let's just hitch up old Tomaway right here. I've never been here. Never paid attention to this. Hitch. Is it inside here? Let's go around to the back and see. Oh, look at this. This is so nice. A little outdoor patio. A gazebo. Hello? Stranger? Is that a stranger here? What is this? Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exquisite. All right, let's see. Hello. Look at this place. It's delightful. One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Is it? I can't go. I was going to go over there and threaten to knock it over, but it won't let me. All right. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Look at his fancy boots. Algen and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the He's exquisite. a dandy. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? Tacitus Kilgore. Can I you a uh, hat? Perhaps. <laughs> can I buy those? How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. <laughs> no, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more... Pipe. There's a pipe. Gothic. Give me that I pipe. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm. Well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. <laughs> is Arthur ever had tea do, in his Mr. life? Mr. Kilgore? <clears throat> Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. All right, so I'm assuming we're supposed to, like, locate some crazy order, object for this man. I fear China <clears throat> will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? Because there was a question uh, mark on my know. map. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. I thought so. You do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Mm -hmm. Good ones, of course. obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. So Here's I'm going to be... List. Okay. Killing things? I will see what I can do. Plucking flowers? Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Okay. Exot. Whoa. Yep, we'll save. Exotics log update, it said. <clears throat> okay, exotics collector's list. Find all the al all the items. Hold for details. All right, let's see. Algernon Wasp, a fashion designer and collector of exotic flora and fauna, asks for assistance in tracking down some rare items for several commissions. Five egret plumes, five reddish egret plumes, five snowy egret plumes, 15 lady of the night orchids, and we need all those things. Okay, so this is something that'll be ongoing, I guess, as we play through the game. So for now, we will continue on to our original objective. Uh, where the hell am I? We'll go see the dude that Jim Boy Calloway wants to, I guess, have us bring to him and then duel or something. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Horsey. Tomachon. Come on, girl. All right. Let's mark our maps. Well, that was fun. We get a little, little objective, little bonus objective there. 
Ratch here. We've never been here. I don't even know where here is. So we'll probably do some cinematic action here. Hopefully won't run into any ruffians on the way. And we will break and return when we are there, or close to there, I guess. Hmm, what is this place? Anybody home? I'm going to investigate this, because I don't do that enough. I just go to my objectives, and I don't really pay attention to what's going on around. So let's check out what's in this house. It looks abandoned. What do we got? Stuff? Is there stuff? Hmm. I'm assuming there is going to be a cigarette card in here somewhere. And I want it. That's one of those collection... Oh, for God's sake. One of those collection things that I don't think I will ever complete... Ah! In this game. But, uh, you know, maybe. Maybe after I've beaten the main campaign and stuff, I'll go back and the collection. Hello? I'm here. Oh, search drawer, nightstand. There's a nice cast iron skillet right there. Ah, uh, I can't take the premium cigarettes because I have too many in my collection already, but premium cigarettes have cigarette cards in them. Why am I? I'm crouching. I'm crouching. Why am I crouching? Is there something going on in here? Arthur's getting all sneaky. Oh. Uh-huh. A dead man. A fire still burning. This makes me wonder. Another dead man. You can't carry any more of this item. That's alcohol. Can't take the crackers. So I can't loot this body. Oh, shit. What the hell? Ah, he tackled me. Get him, get him, get him. I can't even face him. Ah, Jesus Christ. They were playing possum? Holy hell. Look at how bloody I am now. So that's why I couldn't loot them, obviously. Who were these guys? Let's, let's see what's going on here. So they're just laying here all day long? This is insane. I wonder if anybody's gonna come by. I got 48 cents! There's a stack of cash on the table, though. I think that's money. Yeah. How much we get? 50 bucks? Where's my hat? Is this my hat? <clears throat> well, that was crazy. So maybe they just heard me walking around up above. I mean, this is the, the narrative I'm going to create in my mind here. They heard me, and then they decided, hey, let's go we'll play dead. And then when he comes in, you know, it would have been more efficient to do this. Wait for me to come down the stairs and then jump me. But anyway, that was weird. I'm not seeing anything else in here. I got 50 bucks out of the deal. Got a little dirty. Search cabinet. There won't be anything in here. I've got too many supplies already. Oh, canned vegetables. Can't take the ground coffee. All right. All right, well, that was something. There's another door over here. Where's this going? Open it. Open the door. Open. 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 Kick it. Okay, never mind. All right, gang. Well, that was something. I'm going to go run into the lake and wash off a little bit because I'm covered in blood and gore and viscera. And that's not an attractive look. So uh, we'll probably just get, head back on the road. I think we're close to where we were trying to get. Uh, not really. <laughs> we still have quite a ways to go. We're at Van Horn Mansion. So that's where we are right now. It doesn't seem like much of a mansion. All right, gang. Let's go jump in the lake. Hold there. Dome away. Can I even get into the lake from here, or is it a cliff? All right, we'll go. Oh! Let's see, let's get that blood off us. There you go, Arthur. All right, I think we're relatively clean now. Let's 
get back on that horse and get back on the road. Not clean at all. God damn it. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah. Van Horn. There's an old abandoned lighthouse. This is interesting. This is another town? I didn't know this existed. It looks kind of abandoned, though. Look at this. There's a dude on a riverboat over there. Huh. Let's look around here a little bit. Hello, gentlemen. Are there any shops that are open here? Rooms by the night. Doggy. What is this place? Is this like an outlaw town or something? Oh, there's a stranger here too? All right, well, you know what? We're opening up a whole big can of worms. I'm gonna hitch up my horse. There's a stranger here. Good job, girl. In the saloon, I guess. Let me look at my map, too. Okay, yeah, we have Five Finger Belay, Belay, Burnout. We've got whatever that is. We've got a hotel, post office, fence. I don't see a general store, but let's see if we can go into the saloon. Bertram. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me. Oh, look, uh, look at Bertram. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? Oh, he's like a Lenny from no. Mice and Men. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed okay, you. Okay, she's evil, apparently. Bertram <clears throat> does like Miss Marjorie. Yeah. And Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with weapon that's not nose running to shape. Oh, my lord. He owes me. He <coughs> owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Okay. Bertram Everything okay? Like a sherry. Would Bertram like a sherry? Imagine saving people. Taking them to your breast, metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising The smell them, of the grease paint. And then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable <laughs> Bertram's getting his sherry over there. I made them stop. Okay, so she has some sort of... Dreamers, entertainers, troop? and they... Oh, Acting no, troop? family's not enough. No, <laughs> no, he's gone off alone. My little <laughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... Fuck it. No, Bertram. Bertram, no Bertram. Bertram. Back, Bertram. Bertram. <laughs> Eat him. Uh, uh, easy there. Uh, Bertram. Easy there. No, no, no. No, no. God damn it. Ah, ah. Bertram. I don't want to do this, Bertram. Ow, I was blocking. Get Bertram. Oh. Bertram, he's a big, big, big man. Ah. I was blocking. <laughs> not no. I'm not mean. I'm trying to help you. Get him. Get him. Block, block, block. Uh, 
Okay, Bertram, stay down, Bertram. Holy hell. Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, <laughs> we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But oh, my he's lord. my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a Why promise. Why does he have he that little top knot with the bow on it? it. So, you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? So I have to go find Magnifico. Just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. All right, then. Well, that's weird. We gotta find Magnifico. Howdy, handsome. Huh? You looking for a roll in the hay? Am I? Let's take a look. <gasps> you see to yourself. Uh, you know. Howdy. Hello, ma'am. Some real beautiful country around this area. Oh, I know it. <laughs> okay. That'll be fine. I don't think Arthur's that desperate. We had our date with Mary the other day, even though that can't go anywhere. All right, so let's see what's going on around here. We've got a saloon. We've got a post office. I don't see a store anywhere. I was kind of hoping for a store. And there's a hotel. Let's run in there really quickly and see what's going on. Van Horn. I don't see a sheriff's office anywhere. What is this? Moning, Monig and Sons, manufacturers of wagons, buggies, horseshoes, blacksmith, yada yada yada. And this is post office. Hey there. Howdy. Welcome. Where's the hotel? The hotel must be up above. <laughs> no. Nope. Bath. Ah, that's what I need. I need a bath. Can I not get a bath? Howdy. <clears throat> Mister? Mister? Good weather we're having. You got me sweating buckets. <laughs> All right there, Jethro. Let's head down. I want a bath. Ah, give me a bath. Arthur, you're running. Is there a bath in here? Give me a bath. I would like a bath. Howdy? Howdy. Yeah? You sure run into some nice folks out this way. That right? <laughs> yep. Hunter's sot. Inspect poster. If you are proficient with gun or arrow, we seek animals for a wildlife art exhibition. Specimens must be in perfect condition, low caliber kills only. Ship at our expense the following. One adult rabbit, one average squirrel. Hmm. All right. I guess that's something. Wildlife art exhibition. Zero of two carcasses. Mail the requested animals at a post office. Get a small animal. You need a small game arrow or the varmint rifle. Interesting. Very interesting. Services menu. Okay. Oh, so we just do it here. Bath. So I go upstairs to the bath now. All right. Something tells me we're not going to have a hot bath attendant at this place. Arthur needs a bath. There we go. Let's get 
script. You want some help in here? Oh no. <laughs> uh okay. Sure. You want oh, some help good. in there, honey? Good. You look like you could use a bath. Okay. Oh no. Ah. Oh, she's got she, she's got big ones. You sure do need a good wash today. Don't don't touch that. That that's very clean right now. You'll be as clean as a baby in no time. Thank you. Please hurry. Oh, she's 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 down there. She's she's right down there. So how are things with you? Okay, Good scrub enough. scrub my left leg, please. The leg. The the leg. <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes. Yeah, that, this is not treating yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right leg, please, yeah. quickly. Oh, been a tough few weeks. She's right in there. She's right in there. Oh yeah. Okay, are we good? Am I clean? Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. I think my leg is clean, ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. This is just what you needed, huh? Oh no. You were a real pleasure. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, all clean, but oh, so dirty. Item request log updated. What? Sadie has asked for a harmonica. Give Sadie. Did I get a harmonica? Where did I get a harmonica? Did she shove a harmonica up my ass? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well there you go. We're all clean, and uh, we're gonna head on our way now. Tomoe, come Tomoe. Is this guy a beggar? Hello, sir. Excuse me. Howdy. Oh, sorry, but I was worried. You looked in pain. <laughs> I hope you're okay. See ya. <laughs> all right then. Okay, let's let's leave this nice place now and head on our way. This this little adventure, this episode has brought us to some strange places. I heard some breaking glass as I was riding by there, but we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore that and we're going to head on our way. We have a little bit of time. We'll see if we can get to where Jim Boy Calloway wants us to get. And uh, maybe we'll do that mission in the next episode. Whoop. I didn't do nothing, I swear. Keep clear. Official business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna interfere with the law here. All right, we'll be right back. All right, Annisburg. Okay, we got a post office. We got a gunsmith. We've got what appears to be a stagecoach. That's locked right now for some reason. Let's look at our map again. See what else we've got here. Uh, newspaper. We don't have a general store. I'm looking for more outfits. I want to dress Arthur up in some more cool outfits. So we're going to find old Slim here. And I'm going to check the gunsmith out there too. Let's hitch up old Tome away. So I guess this is just kind of a railroad stop. Scientist? A Scottish scientist. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. He doesn't have a stranger marker. We're killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. With what? Fuck you, Mason. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, you do? Look around you. Look around and live. We get to the point. Hello. Hey there. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Okay. Mm. Thank you. You just giving them out for free? 
Hope for the future. Inspect document. All right, <clears throat> let's do a little reading. Not. Did I not? D I Damnations and exclamations on science. Please yeah, shut up now. I'm trying to read your book. Killing it with Excuse me. Killing it with uh, science. On science, the skies, waters, I and the great swindle. A book a by Dr. Malcolm McIntosh, published in Boston, 1891. We'll the dangers oil. of illuminating the oils. What is the price of the light up. created by burning illuminating oils that fills our homes, lights our carriages, and transports us in metal machines? The new invention of the patent motor wagon will result in the death of creatures of the sea. One day there will be no fish to be found by the fisherman as he has traveled farther and farther in a machine of death. Learn and weep as the rivers and oceans go back and nowhere is to be found. A drop to quench our thirst. The hills scorched shall burn. The rivers fouled will burn. The sun and the skies will burn our eyes and skin. Experiments and future of electricity. The fire that runs through wires of elements such as copper shall soon come to consume every part of our being. Soon electricity, electricity, but will be required for every part of our lives. It will create visions in front of our... Oh my god, this man is a... He's a prophet. It will be used instead of sexual Science intercourse. <laughs> man will oh no god. longer be able to cipher not numbers because dreams. of the reliance on it. That's but true. Knowledge. Electricity not from the skies that sets our trees afire, but the kind made by man, a wonder of the age. Yet it is fire, and it will eyes. eventually cause us to burn every living thing to make Don't more of it. A swindle. There is a full and accurate that report that every person reading this will be swind swindled out of a considerable wealth. Machines are wonderful, but in the operation of the wrong people, they are the pathway to destruction. Someday these machines will lull us to comfort such that we will lose all common sense, compassion, and human contact, instead preferring the sound of the machines. Whispering gibberish to clouds will not save you. Science will save you if you let it. Otherwise, your skies will be forever gray. The oceans will rise, and the women who live in the sea will die. What a mess. Mermaids? You are a slave. This is the grand question, plainly stated so that you can understand. Do you want to be a slave to ignorance? Do not fall for damnable doctrines and the cruel massacres of the elite. Only in this country can a person be proud of not being good at math or science. You bring about the destruction of your very, our very race by not noting nature around you. The dinosaurs were killed by men. No, that's not true. And the very ignorance will kill us all. American ingenuity damns us all. American industry will do what it always does. Make a few men very rich and a lot of men very sick. Those are the out only outcomes. So if you're not rich, trust me, you will be sick soon enough. My teachings will ground you. Go and spread the word by ordering copies of my book so that you may go on to the incredible journey to the heart of all knowledge and not lose all the lies in Israel. All right. Uh, Semi-prophetic. A little reactionary. Interesting. Hey, what are you doing here? I told you to stay, honey. All right, so uh, there was a gunsmith. I was going to check that out. And then we'll go talk to Jim Boy Calloway. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode, though, because we're already over 30 minutes. Let's just head to the gunsmith and see if there's anything new and exciting for me to purchase. Hello? You must be new around here. Welcome. Everything Welcome. is here in the catalog. Just make a selection, and I can bring it out for you to inspect. I think I've got pretty table. much everything. I've got a cattleman, got a double action, got a Schofield. I don't have the Volcanic, but I don't know that I really want it or need it. I mean, I guess I should own every gun at some point, but I'll buy one anyway. All this right. Will keep you safe. Thank you. Uh, I did buy it, right? Huh? Carbine, Lancaster, Lickfield is still locked. We've got the Varmint Rifle, Springfield, Bolt Action, got all those. Carcano is locked still. Sawed-off shotgun, I own one of those, but it's not showing it is owned. Interesting. Semi-auto shotgun, oh, I can buy this. Yeah. Cool. This is an excellent weapon. I might uh, modify that in the future. Repeating shotgun, ammunition, uh, I guess I could buy some of this stuff. This is high velocity. That is a real favorite around here. Express, pistol, high velocity, pistol cartridges, express, repeater cartridges, high velocity. Eh, give me a lot. Give me a lot of those. Give me a lot of these. Give me some of these. Give them all. I want some more rifle cartridges, high velocity, ba bam, varmint, get a lot of those, get some of these, shotgun shells, give me all the ammunition, got arrows, Next door is available upgraded if bandolier, permanently increases capacity by 50%, in this town. what, don't I own all this stuff? I get plenty of people coming Gun in belt. just for that. All right. That's cool. That's one thing I haven't done in a while is uh, checked the the state of my weapons. 
And I should probably do that at some point. I might need to give him a good cleaning. All right, gang. Well, that's an episode, I guess. Uh, your previous firearms have been stowed on your horse. Yeah, I want to get my Schofield out because that's my favorite weapon. And they have been modified and upgraded to an extremely high Hello. extent. Oh, that's not my horse. Hey, that is my horse. Are you are you interfering with my horse? Better not be interfering with my horse. All right, so we want my Schofield. Uh, where's my Schofield? There's my Schofield. There's my Schofield. Semi-auto shotgun. So this Schofield needs to be cleaned. That needs to be cleaned. All right, but we're fine. Oh, I'm dual wielding. Put him, put him away, put him away. Okay. All right, gang. Uh, tune in next time where we will go talk to the doofus who's in well, that bar or something, and we'll do the mission and stuff and things like that. But until next time, tell me to get him. I'll see you later.